Tottenham have won their last three Premier League games and a win this Saturday at Stamford Bridge could put Tottenham back in the top four. This is the match preview, Chelsea v Tottenham. Welcome back to another video. So, Saturday afternoon it is the early kickoff. Chelsea v Tottenham in the Premier League at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea are currently fourth in the Premier League, having played 26 games, winning 12, drawing 5 and losing 9. They have scored 43 goals and they have conceded 36. They have a goal difference of plus 7. They have 41 points. Tottenham are right behind Chelsea at the moment. Uh, in fifth place in the Premier League, played the same amount of games, 26, won 11, drawing seven and losing eight, scoring exactly the same as Chelsea, 43, conceding two less, we have conceded 34, so we have a goal difference of plus nine, and we are on 40 points, just one point away from that top four place, so a win this Saturday could put Tottenham back in the top four. So let's look back at Tottenham's last four Premier League games. Of course, we are unbeaten in the, in the last four Premier League games, winning three and drawing one. The draw uh, was against Watford, drawing 0-0 away from home. We then beat Norwich City uh, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium 2-1. And then we beat the Premier League champions Manchester City, uh, where Steven Bergwijn made his debut, scoring that wonderful goal, beating them 2-0. And then most recently, we beat Aston Villa away from home on Sunday with that Hunmin Son brace, beating them 3-2. Team news for Tottenham ahead of this Premier League clash against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge this Saturday. Uh, midfielder Moussa Zoko is still out injured. Striker Harry Kane is still out injured. And Hunmin Son is out injured as well. And now expected to miss most of the uh, the remainder of the season. Uh, good news though, Eric Lamella and Tangai Ondombele uh, are both back. They both featured as substitutes um, in the 1-0 home defeat in the Champions League. Uh, the other night. Uh, so both of them two could be back in the starting lineup for Spurs. Team news for Chelsea. It looks like they're going to have quite a few players out for this clash with Spurs. Uh, they are likely to be without N'Galo Kante because he picked up an injury against Manchester United in the Premier League clash only a couple of days ago when Chelsea lost the game 2-0 at home. Uh, Tammy Abraham, Andreas Christensen, Callum Hudson-Odoi and Christian Pulisic are all rated as doubtful. So let's go through a few of the match facts and stats. Now, this is a record that Tottenham really do need to improve on and fast. Chelsea have only lost one of their last 33 home games against Tottenham in all competitions dating back to 1990. Now, if I'm completely honest, this is an abysmal record that Tottenham have against Chelsea. But in recent times, we have improved. The Tottenham have won only seven of their 55 Premier League matches against Chelsea. But three of those victories have come in the past six meetings. Chelsea have already lost seven times at Stamford Bridge so far this season throughout 2019-2020. Those seven home defeats in all competitions is their most in a single season since 1994-1995. As I said earlier at the start of the video, Chelsea have scored 43 goals, exactly the same as Tottenham in the Premier League so far this season. But only 16 of those 43 have come at Stamford Bridge. 
thing Tottenham do really need to improve on, and that is winning away in the Premier League. Of course, we didn't win away in the Premier League for nearly a year. Jose Mourinho came in, and then we won his first Premier League game away at West Ham. Since then, we have won away at Wolves, and then more recently against Aston Villa. Uh, but just three away wins in the 13 uh, Premier League games so far this season. Tottenham have won at least nine top flight away matches matches in each of our last seven campaigns so we do really need to improve on this season's record interestingly since harry kane has been out injured since the 1st of january 2020 tottenham have lost just twice in those 10 games in all competitions so predicted lineup for the chelsea v tottenham game i am going to go with hugo Lloris in goal I'm going to go with Sergio Aurier at right back. I'm then going to go with Toby Alderweireld in the centre with Davinson Sanchez. And I do think that Jose Mourinho will make the change. I think Ben Davis will now uh, drop to the bench and I think Tanganga will come in uh, at left back. Uh, I'm going to go with Harry Winks in midfield with Giovanni Lo Celso and Tangi Ondombele. I think that he will come back. He came on as a substitute against Leipzig the other night. And I think that he needs to start this Chelsea match. I think it's very, very important uh, that we get him off to a great start in this game. Um, Eric Lamella, I think that he will come back as well with Steven Bergwijn and Lucas Moura. Now, let me know in the comments section below, do you agree with that? That's what I think Jose Mourinho will choose and go with. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments section below. So it goes without saying, this is absolutely huge, this game to Tottenham season. I think that this will either make or break our season, this game. I really, really do. Uh, Tottenham need the three points. We are desperate for the three points. Uh, obviously, we are without a main striker. We're without Harry Kane and Hunmin Son. A huge, huge blow uh, to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club as a whole. Uh, all of the fans, lots of fans are, are being very negative about uh, you know, where are the goals coming from? We created chances against Leipzig the other night in the Champions League, uh, but just could not convert. Uh, and we are really, really missing a striker right now. Um, Jose Mourinho has said that Troy Parrott isn't ready uh, for, for Premier League football or Champions League football. Um, so we've got to rely on the likes of Deli Alley, Steven Bergvine, uh, Eric Lamella and co um, to get our goals. Giovanni Lo Celso looked... Uh, uh, a superb player. Uh, we've seen lots of uh, really good glimpses of, of Giovanni Lo Celso. Uh, so let's hope that his form can continue. Steven Bergvine looks a very lively player as well. He looks like he can score goals um, and, and create them as well. So very excited to see more of him. Let's just hope that these players can step up to it on Saturday and get us uh, these three points because it would give all of the fans a huge, huge lift um, mentally um, just to be back in the top four um, above Chelsea, which will be absolutely brilliant. And of course, Jose Mourinho is returning to Stamford Bridge. A huge, huge day for him. So he will want to get one over on uh, on Chelsea and his, uh, and his former player, Frank Lampard. Um, it should be a fantastic game, one I'm really looking forward to, but I'm just hoping that Tottenham can grab a couple of goals. I tell you what, when we when we played there a couple of years ago and Deli Alley uh, scored a couple of goals and we won 3-1, it is a day I will never, ever forget. We haven't done very well at Stamford Bridge in recent years, so um, it is always nice to win there um, and they will be memorable days. So I'm just hoping for a memorable day this Saturday. Let me know all of your score predictions in the comments section below. So what are the bookies making of this game? Chelsea v Tottenham in the Premier League. I've got the odds up here for Paddy Power. Uh, they are going to go for a 13-2 for a 1-0 Chelsea win. A 15-2 for a 2-0 Chelsea win. 13-2 for a 2-1 Chelsea win. Uh, for a Tottenham win, you'd get 13-1 on a 1-0 Spurs win. 22-1 on a 2-0 Spurs win and 13-1 on a 2-1 Spurs win. Uh, for a draw, you'd get 10-1 on a 0-0, 6-1 on a 1-1, 11-1 on 
or 12 to 1 on a 2-2. Uh, let me know your score predictions. I'm going to go with a 1-0 Tottenham win, and that is 13 to 1. So I think that's good odds. I'm going to go for a 1-0, and I think Steven Bergvine will get our goal. Thanks for watching this video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And thank you to everybody who does subscribe to the channel. We are now at over 34,500 subscribers. Absolutely unbelievable. So thank you very much for subscribing and watching. Don't forget to like the video as well. And I will see you at Stamford Bridge this Saturday for hopefully a Tottenham win. Come on, you Spurs.